All smiles here with Giggly Chickadee. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Whatever time it may be, welcome to my channel. So today, I wanted to show you guys how I do my makeup. I usually, sometimes, if I'm going out, I'll wear makeup. Or sometimes I'll wear makeup. Just depending on what mood I'm in. I don't really wear a lot of makeup because, as you can see, my skin is not that bad. It used to be really bad, like, in high school. Middle school, I had like really bad acne, so now I don't really. Sometimes I wear foundation, and sometimes I don't wear foundation, just depending on like how I want to look. But I usually just do my eyes, like my eyeliner and my and my mascara. But a couple Thursdays back, someone commented on my uh, video, and they said they wanted to see my makeup. So thank you for coming. I really appreciate that. I'm going to show you guys how I do my makeup. So before I start my makeup, after I get out of the shower, I moisturize with Hemp's Triple Moisture. They have little ones or they have big ones at Ulta, but I love this one. The pink one's good, but I feel like this one is way better. So I take like a little bit in my finger and then I rub it on face. And then I'll go do something and then I'll come back and then I'll do the same thing. So I have like a better... Um, a better base on my face and it's not that see right now like I don't have any like I usually have like dry spots on my face but sometimes I don't and sometimes I do it's like after I do my makeup but I'm gonna show you guys how I do my makeup so before I start like I said sometimes I'll do my foundation and it's just like make my face pop even more so when I am doing this I don't use a brush and I don't use I used to use a beauty blender but now I just tend to use my fingers because I used to use like the um, the BB creams I used to use a BB cream a lot and then I'd go in with the powder I don't like putting it on with a brush or anything because I don't like that it looks cakey on my face so before I started using like this like I said I use the BB cream and I use bare minerals but my bare minerals is a little bit too dark and I do not want to buy another one because they're kind of pricey and this thing lasts forever so I rather just when the sun comes in, I'm going to get a little bit darker anyway. So I just bought this for the time being. So I use this first. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put that on. I need a wipe because after I put it on, I usually wash my hands. I have this wipe here. I got some regular wipes. Baby wipes. You can use these to take off your makeup. I actually use Johnson & Johnson Baby Wash to wash all my makeup off. So it's actually really, really good. So I'm like, how am I going to do this in here without um, like being able to see myself? So I brought my little mirror in here. So I take about that much and I just dab it like this and I just go like this. And then I just put it on like lotion because I don't want it to look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. I like looking natural as possible see my face isn't that bad at all but i like just having like you know a little bit of foundation just to make my face pop a little bit so i'm gonna do it like this and i'm just gonna go like this and put it on like lotion you can actually mix it with the lotion See, this might, I don't want it to look like I'm wearing foundation, but this lighting is like weird because it's raining outside and it's making my lighting look weird. So this is what it looks like. I don't want to use the rest of this because I think it's going to be too much. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe that off and wipe my hands off. Maybe if I move my mirror a little bit, I mean move my lighting a little bit or turn it down a little bit. See how this is just like, yeah, that looks a little bit, like, a little bit better. I'm 
it's still kind of darker in here but you can still tell that like it's a little bit of makeup but it's not a lot see it looks like my face and I don't want it to look cakey on my face I have a mirror right here so if I keep looking down over here I'm just showing you guys my mirror <laughs> all right so that's it after I do my my liquid foundation then I'm gonna go in with the bare minerals and I use like that much I usually don't use a lot because like I said I don't want to use a lot on my face yeah that's a little bit better okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there sorry for my kids they are like can't go outside as rain you guys go outside as rain go play in the rain and then you tap that off and then I just go in and do that to make it a little bit darker but like I said I don't want that much makeup on my face so I tried using like a primer and like the sprays but they just don't work on my face I'm just too oily I'm oily and like now you can see a little bit of my flakes right here you see that every time I put on makeup it does that I don't know why I wash my face I scrub my face I use um, I use a Clarisonic brush and it just doesn't go away so at the end after I put on my makeup I use some like purified water and I just dab it and then it just goes away I don't know what sometimes over here sometimes it's on my cheeks like usually like right here but it's really annoying but anyway my makeup does not last all day if I'm going somewhere I'm putting on my makeup and then when I get home I'm taking it off because my eyeliner will be up here my makeup will be all oily and there's just nothing that clears it up I don't know what it is but it's definitely annoying so after I do that and I use the Burt's Bees lip gloss crayon I was using I was using something else by Burst Bees, but I feel like this one is way darker, so I just go ahead and do it like this, and then I blend it out with a brush. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Move it down right here so you can see me doing that. This lighting is ugly. Kind of better. So I go ahead and blend that out. I don't want a lot of blush. I just want a little bit of blush. Hug work. My husband is home from work. I hate you. I hate you. And I do a little bit here because I have like red tones. Ah, 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 get away from here. They be trying to steal my makeup. So I just put a little bit of there and a little bit here because I'm kind of red. So I do a little bit kind of red. Like that. So after I do that, it just depends on, I don't really go in order. I just like go for whatever. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. So when I do my eyebrows, I brush them up first and I am using, dang you can't even see this, this is, I think this is the all one. This is the Lime Crime Brown Gel, Bushy Brows. This is the brown. I do this first before I go in and start messing with my eyebrows. So I do that first just to see where I want my eyebrows to be at. And then I have I had the like liquid liner thingamajiggy 
but I don't know where it is and it was kind of too light for me so I had got this the Kat Von, Von D tattoo eyeliner and now I'm using it as like my brow thing so like it comes on like like super like thin I'm gonna show you guys look at that get out of the way so it's like super thin you can make it thicker you can make it thicker or you can make it thinner but like the lighter you go the thinner it gets look at that so you just want to take your time by doing it so I'm gonna show you guys like one one line so there's that line you see that one right there that's a line so now I'm gonna put one so if you feel like it's like running out of um, the liquid eyeliner you just press down a little bit and some of it will come back up but make sure you do it on your hand before you do it on your brows it's like way more fuller now and it looks natural this is like my hand you don't want your eyebrow look like that you just want to look natural you know so now you go back in with this and you just I usually just push them all up like this And then you go like this. Like this. This is how I do my brows. I used to arch my brows. And when I was little, my sister arched my brows. And they never grew back. So I'm never ever cutting my eyebrows again. <laughs> So I have sensitive eyes and I have to use certain mascara. I used to be able to use this but now my my eyelashes and my eyes are just getting worse. But this works really good. What I know that works really good that doesn't burn your eyes is the Lancome mascara. That works and their eyeliner stays on. It's a liquid eyeliner has like a little ball in it. And it's about that size. I'll show you but y'all answer the picture. That's a really good eyeliner if you have sensitive eyes like I do and watery eyelids. That works. But this works. This works good enough. I like it. It's like certain colors that are kind of drier. Like this one's more like moist, has more moisture in it. And I really like this. I like how it does my eyelashes. It makes them really, really long. So this is the BFF and this is the color, what color is this, blue, blue ya mind, <laughs> that's the color, but you see how blue it is, it's so pretty, like all the colors are like this, I think I made a video on it, Okay, so that is the mascara. It's so cool, and you can like not see from here, but you can definitely see it from here. It's so pretty. I only have one coat on there, so if I added another coat, it just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's so pretty. But after. I do my mascara. I go in with my liner by NYX. And this doesn't stay on my eyelids for a long time. It stays on long enough. Like I said, the Lancome is the best eyeliner to me. I feel. And this brush is like this. I think I paid like $8 for this at Target. So when I do my eyeliner, I usually start at this point and then I go down to this point. But I try to make my line, like I keep my eyes like this. On this side. So I keep my eyes like this and then I make my eye line, I mean my, my line, excuse me, my line go from here to here. And then I'll pull my, my uh, wing up. So I make the line like this. 
and then I'm going to pull up. So I'm going to show you the other line that I use. So and then I close it like that. And then if I need to go up, then I'll start from the same thing and kind of keep straight. I don't make it go all the way, I just make it go a little bit. It looks like it's all the way on the camera, but it's not really. See how it's like doing like that? It looks like it's doing like that on camera, but it's not. So if I take my eye and go up a little bit, I'll just start from here and go up a little bit until I make it straight. You know what? I start from here and go down a little bit. So if I'm starting like this, I'll start can't do it um, see and then I go like that and then if I feel like if I feel like this part is too big I'll just start from the inside and go up so I'll start from like right here and go up a little bit so that is my eyeliner After I do that, I am done. I put my lipstick on and I'm done. I usually use, this is my favorite lipstick from Revlon. Something at Target, Walmart. I like this, or oh, I'll use my ColourPop color. But I usually use the red, I don't know, like, I love this color. I think it's so pretty. It's like red, but then it's like pink at the same time. So I usually like, cause my lips are so big, <laughs> I start from the middle and then I like kind of go inside too. In high school, like I used to make my lips kind of small. Like if, if you have big lips, you know like, in like high school like people make fun of you for having big lips but now it's like everybody wants big lips so I used to like do it like this and how to hide this line but now I go all the way to the bottom Are you guys a lipstick girl, a gloss girl, a matte girl? I'm a lipstick girl. I love lipsticks. I don't like matte. I don't like it. It feels weird. Like I feel like I need to put some Vaseline on my lips or something. So this is the final look. And how I wear my my makeup when I do wear it. It's how I wear it every day. And this is normal for me. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see some other styles that I do, like I'll do this and then I'll just add glitter. <laughs> but if you guys want to see that, let me know. Like and subscribe. Um, I don't know what my next video is going to be about, but stay tuned, you guys. Sorry, I've been putting out makeup videos. I just I wear makeup, but I don't really wear makeup, and I don't really wear a lot of it, so. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you. Stay safe.